There's been a SHA-1 collision. But what's the big deal, you may ask? Accidents happen every day. Thing is, when it happens to a widely deployed cryptographic hash function, it's not a simple case of getting out, inspecting the damage, exchanging insurance details, and moving on. But first, a bit of clarification. A cryptographic hash function is not encryption. The job of encryption as a whole is to provide confidentiality. In other words, it keeps your secret secret, undisclosed, untold, unknown, off the record. Whereas hashing, on the other hand, doesn't actually keep anything confidential, rather it offers integrity, as in proof that something hasn't been tampered with, changed, tinkered, fiddled, or monkeyed around with. The mechanics of how it works is pretty simple. You run a hash function against a file and it gives you an output, which is called a message digest. Think of it like a fingerprint for that particular file. So it gives you confidence that a file you downloaded is the original that the author uploaded or that there aren't any duplicates of files in your directories and so on. Now for hashing to be good and reliable and work there's basically two fundamental principles to it. Firstly that the same input or the same file will always create the same output and secondly that different files should never produce the same output. Now, what's happened with SHA-1 is that clever researchers have discovered that you can actually force two different files to have the same message output. It's kind of like two people having the same fingerprint or two snowflakes being identical or a liar's pants catching fire. To be fair, SHA-1 has seen better days. Many security researchers have been advocating for many years now to move away onto stronger, safer cryptographic hash functions. So hopefully this research will help put it to bed once and for all. Stay secure, my friends.